Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Grant. And in this video, well, PowerPoint presentation, we're going to have a look at creating a custom C++ project template for Visual Studio 2022. We'll use for this exercise a project we created in a previous video dealing with the separation of concerns in a Visual Studio C++ project. After opening the project, go to the top menu bar and click on Project, followed by the menu item Export Template. This brings up the Export Template wizard. Make sure Project Template is selected and that the project named under From Which Project Would You Like to Create a Template is the same as in the Solution Explorer and click Next. Here we complete the template name and te template description boxes. In this instance, separation of concerns, C++20 for the name, and console application uses separate declaration, definition, and pre-compiled header folders, utilizes C++20 standard for the description. We will leave the icon image and preview image boxes empty. If you want to use an icon, the Visual Studio Image Library is a free download which includes an excellent selection of available icons for you to use in your projects. The link is in the description below. And the preview image is literally a screenshot of the code, your code, usually placed in the custom template folder. Uncheck the automatically import the template into Visual Studio, but the display and explorer window on the output files folder can be left checked and click finish. In Windows Explorer, in the folder My Exported Templates, you will find the zip file. Extract the file by right clicking and selecting Extract All. No need to show the extracted files, but if you want to do so, we'll be opening several of them in Visual Studio Code. And back in Windows Explorer, you'll see the extracted folder. We can delete the existing zip file because we'll be creating a new one shortly. Right click on the extracted folder and select Open with Code. And we need to open four files appname.h, mytemplate.vs template, the project name dot vcx proj, in this case it's separation of concerns dot vcx proj, p r o j, and the project name dot vcx proj dot filters, in this case separation of concerns dot vcx proj dot filters. Back in app name dot eight, look for the line. I've highlighted the required line in red. Const standard string app name underscore and the initializer value of separation of concerns or whatever your project name is. And change the initializer value to dollar sign safe project name dollar sign all one word all lowercase. This is the variable parameter used only by Visual Studio. Close this file. We're done with it. And this is the value we'll be using throughout this exercise. Dollar sign, safe project name, dollar sign. As you can see, all one word, all lowercase. S-A-F-E-P-R-O-J-E-C-T-N-A-M-E dollar sign. I've put a link to the page for Visual Studio template parameters in the description below. In the mytemplate.vs template file, where it says project subtype, type in console and close the XML node. Pop in a new line and create another project subtype, this time writing in the C++ standard. In this case, it is C++20 and close the XML node. This will help you with finding your template after first use. In the same file, head down to the line that starts with project target file name, all one word, equals double quote, and then the project name followed by dot vcx proj, close quote. And we're going to change the project name, in this case, separation of concerns, to the dollar sign, save project name, dollar sign, leaving the dot extension in place. Same file, go down a couple of lines and look for the variable target file name, again, all one word, equals double quote, project name, dot cpp, close quote. This is the main application entry file. And we're going to change the project name to the dollar sign, safe project name, dollar sign. Again, leaving the dot extension in place. On the same line, come across to the variable replace parameters equals false and change the value false to true. 
Come down a couple of lines and look for the app name.h file reference and change the place parameters variable from false to true. Do this for all the files which include a Visual Studio variable parameter and leave everything else as is. Now we go to the next file, the project name.vcxproj, scroll a long way down until we reach the line that says CL compile include equals double quote project name dot cpp, in this case separation of concerns dot cpp, and change that to the dollar sign safe project name dollar sign. And then the last file, the project name dot vcx proj dot filters and look for the line that reads CL compile include equals double quote project name dot cpp. In this case, again, separation of concerns dot cpp and change that to the safe project name surrounded by the dollar signs. That's as done with Visual Studio Code. So you can save all the files if you don't have auto save turned on and head back to Windows Explorer. And in Windows Explorer, in the Extracted folder, select all the files and folders. Put your mouse over the main project file, the project name.cpp file. Right click and select Send to Uncompressed Zip folder in the Flyout menu. You'll more than likely you'll need to rename the created zip file. Explorer will let you do that automatically. In our case, we will name the file C++20 Separation of Concerns and press Enter. And here we can see the zip file. Um, right click the zip file and select cut or copy. Or click in the top menu bar and select either move to or copy to. And navigate to OneDrive documents, Visual Studio 2022 templates, project templates. And drop the zip file in this folder. Or you can select Visual C++ or Visual C++ project and move or copy the file into one of those folders. Where you put the file depends a great deal on where you point the Visual Studio Project Template location to. In my case, I point it to Visual C++ Project. And here we have the zip file in the Visual C++ Project folder. Don't worry about the excessive number of other folders. It's something something does. It does no harm. It's just a tad annoying. After we've done all that, we can start Visual Studio and select Create a New Project. A new project template will appear at the top with the new tag. Select the new project template and click Next. Give the project a name and a different solution name if you wish, or keep the default. And once the project's open, head off to the app name.h and see if the app name underscore variable now states the correct project name in its initializer value. All being well, give the project a quick build and run and celebrate. That's it folks, thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.